Maybe the most important thing about you is your testimony for Jesus. Could it be that God waits to return for those that he's still calling to himself? In Matthew chapter 28, nothing was going to prevent Paul from reasoning, telling the truth, testifying to the person of Christ, even when his own country, his own people wouldn't believe. In verse 28, after they didn't believe, and he quotes from Isaiah chapter 6, he says, know this that God has sent his salvation among you, but now it's going to the Gentiles. They will listen. God has sent you on mission. You might be disguised as a nurse, a teacher, a mom, a dad, a businessman, a businesswoman, but that's your disguise. If you know Christ and he's come inside of you, if you're a new creation, then you get to experience the light of the world. The light burns in the darkest of places. God wants you to stand for him. He wants you to be a finger pointer towards Christ. In Luke chapter 4, verse 43, the people of Capernaum are trying to hold on to Jesus. Jesus, you can't leave us. We like our own personal healer. We like our own personal savior. But Jesus says, this is why I've come, to preach the kingdom of God. I've got to go to the next city. Don't you remember some of the final words of Jesus to his disciples? Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20. Go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey all that I have commanded. When you are a disciple, you are one who is to become like your master. You follow in the footsteps of the commands of Jesus. John 15 says, the commands of Jesus and your obedience to them are how you declare your love for Christ. Don't be afraid. God the Holy Spirit will give you the words. Don't be scared. The Bible will never return void. At the very least, you can share your own story of how God has transformed your life. Wherever you go, Jesus is already there. And Jesus has a commissioning for you to do. May he put you in the spiritual operating room to watch him go to work when somebody is going from death to life. And who knows, maybe you're just the farmer sowing some seed, and God will bring somebody else to water it, but you'll have an opportunity to partner one day in heaven to witness what God has done with where he sent you to be. May God make you like Paul, who's unashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's the power of God for the salvation of all who believe. Maybe the most significant, important thing about you is your testimony, your witness about Christ. Thank you.